It's the Line Makers on Sporting News, presented by Jack Daniels. All right, folks, time to get ready for the Monday night football game from Las Vegas, Nevada. We're at the South Point Casino. Brian Blessing, Richie Bachelary, free preview week right here. The line makers on Sporting News. Odds makers dream, Richie. You got the Falcons, a three-point favorite at home. Matt Ryan against visiting Denver and Peyton Manning. Totals up there 51, but it starts on a key number. Huge two-way action expected on this game. Yeah, some games are actually better to book than the bet, and this is one of them. Bookmaker gets a solid three on this game. The business is going to flow on both sides for obvious reasons, thus racking up a lot of juice for the house. Hey, we got a lot of good information for you, but we're not Einstein. You thought Manning might grope at it a little bit. He looked very good. I certainly didn't think he was going to perform anywhere near the level he performed at last week. My man Kenny White told me he's worth five points, and I left. Now I'm laughing again because he's probably worth about seven or eight. He's that good, especially to Osweiler uh, behind him. And he's still building a rapport, learning his guys. Yeah, he, he's, he looked damn good with the audibles at the line of scrimmage. He was fantastic moving the ball around. I think he was only like 19 or 20 for 26, 230 yards, nothing down the field, but he methodically picked off these the Steelers defenders and just boom, boom, one after the other, uh, well, many completions. But this is going to be a different beast because the Steelers, it was so blatantly obvious, were trying to shorten the game. The pressure they got on Roethlisberger with Miller and Porter makes such a difference on the edge opposite Bailey. It's a different beast here now against the Falcons team that's going up tempo and Ryan's on fire. Yeah, well, let's go back to once again, Ben. He had five sacks, three late in the game. Uh, they were up 22 to 19, I think, going into the fourth quarter. They did not play a bad game, but without the running game, they couldn't do anything. Now you switch over to Atlanta, and we're certainly looking at a guy like this, this Matt Ryan going to, to Jones and the other kid. Uh, Roddy White. Uh, White. Uh, you know, he's got, he's got targets. He's going to be hitting all over the field. The total's 51 for a reason. You know, and pace of play could be a big deal. The Falcons a little more up tempo. Plus, Michael Turner at home's a much better running back by a good margin than he is on the road. But on the defensive side of the ball, there's an injury that you want to bring up that Peyton Manning will try to exploit. Yeah, and uh, I can't remember what Grimes. it is. So Grimes, that's right, <laughs> Grimes. That, that's it's it. It's your guy. And, you what it and what they're doing is, is they're going to be shifting a lot of defenders this week in practice, which I think is going to make for more of a field day for Manning against this defense. Plus, it's a Monday night game. The total's already up there at 51. Wouldn't be shocking to see a 52 or 52 and a half, right, when the general public gets involved? I, I think what you'll wind up seeing is, yes, the public moving the game up. But then the sharp guy's probably going under the highest number at the board as close to game time. Because anytime you have a 53 in an NFL game, you're certainly looking at eight scores. And that's a lot of scores. Hey, you think AFC? Hey, you think Patriots. You think NFC? You got the Packers, you got the Bears, and you got the Niners. But maybe the buzz teams now are Denver and Atlanta. This is an interesting matchup. Well, certainly Falcons were a playoff team last year. This game's a three, which basically makes it a pick em game on the neutral field. So Denver has already elevated to that status. It's a Monday night showdown. Great information from Richie B. We've got you covered. Hope you enjoyed our free preview week number two. Here are the line makers on Sporting News.